want to keep on upgrading throughout our life, be it our operatory, be it our knowledge. So that is our responsibility or uh, commitment to the community of patients which we are treating. Speak no to rented out lasers because first, it is found that within a month, within 20 to 1 month of 20 days to 1 month of time, patients are getting their sensation back by increasing the nerve regeneration with the help of me. The faculty, I would not suggest that will help you in any way. That they'll just help you how to do the cutting. You can uh, Doctor, when it comes, you know, when it comes to quality and reliability, so what laser units do you suggest? Uh, I won't take any much brand's name because uh, I won't be the right person for that. So I can tell you which brand I personally use and why did I choose that brand as my uh, personal unit. So I personally use a Novolis unit. The first decision was made because their basic wavelength is 810. So this 810 helps me do all the procedures in basic general practice with lasers. So that's why I went for Novolis. Second thing is that when you choose your brand, you need to see whether they give you dedicated accessories for your use. So we need to do whitenings with the laser, laser assisted tooth whitening. So whatever whitening gels we are getting in the market like an opalescence boost, they don't have anything to absorb the laser light. That is basically when we pair that with a laser, thermal activation is happening. They absorb the th heat energy and then get activated. So these Novolis has got their own whitening gel range which has got dedicated uh, components in that in the composition of the gel which will absorb the laser light and then get activated. So that is an advantage. So you don't have to go for a hydrogen peroxide based whitening agent they have non peroxide or alternatives for laser tooth whitenings damage which is caused by hydrogen peroxide can be avoided with these whitening gels the second thing is novel is green novo green dye so when we are doing any kind of photo activated disinfection photodynamic therapy we need to pair it with a dye so every wavelength will have a open optical affinity to a particular color dye so 810 is a near infrared wavelength so they are, that has to be paired with a green dye so they have novo green suppose if it is a 660 wavelength which is a red wavelength so red has to be paired with blue so they have novo blue for that and then they have got all the quality certifications like iso 13485 which is specifically for the quality of uh, medical device so other iso 9001 and volvi c is for the company and their management of the company quality and all that iso 13485 is the quality of the de medical device like you really can trust the quality of photons which is coming out from that laser unit and European CE certification so all these factors when, when you consider it is a better advantage and more, more than that it is an Indian brand I, I was mentioning so you need not worry about how you get the service or when you want to do it you whether have to send it back to the international if you're purchasing it from an international company sometimes you have to send it back to that country to get it serviced so that kind of headaches you don't have so that's why I choose personally choose Novelis as my brand how much does this cost? This I have a single wavelength unit that comes around 2 to 2.5 lakhs. So in between 2 to 2.5, single wavelength option. That's a Doctor, you mentioned about uh, many accessories. Are there additional costs uh, for these units? Yes, so before when we used to have the lasers, we have the spool kind of a thing where you used to get a long optical fiber, then you cut according to each patient's, you get the spool. So now that concept is gone, now we have individual tip like how our needle tips comes. So these individual tips you will have to purchase for as much as patients you are doing. Once you are purchasing the laser unit first, you will get a particular number of tips as complementary. Then all the equipments, all the accessories, dyes and whitening gels, everything you will be getting one with the laser unit. So once you have used, utilized that from the next patient or the next, uh, once you have finished it, you will have to purchase it extra. So doctor, how long typically a laser unit lasts? Okay, the lasting according to ISO, it will last up to 10,000 hours. So the laser output, the photons which are coming should be, you will be getting 10,000 hours of usage from each laser unit. Uh, doctor, any maintenance required for this particular laser units? Yes, the maintenance main thing will be calibration. So you are supposed to calibrate your laser unit every two years. So that is one of the major things when you are purchasing your unit from an international brand. I know a lot of doctor who wanted to calibrate his unit, but that had to be sent back to China. The, they are ready to do the calibration for free. It was in the warranty period and all that. But then he had to bear the import duties. That was higher than the laser cost itself. 
So he had to simply dump the unit and purchase a new one. So these things you have to keep in mind when you are purchasing international brands, whether you have to send it back to the uh, country, whether who will be taking care of the charges of uh, couriering and getting it back and all that. Uh, doctor, can you mention about the training and certification process uh, required to handle these uh, laser units? So doctor, there are a lot of one-day workshops happening on lasers in dentistry. So as a faculty, I would not suggest that will help you in any way. That they'll just help you how to do the cutting. You can learn how to cut with lasers in one day. That's not a big thing to understand. But if you want to practice more about the laser medicine and laser disinfection things, you need to have a clarity about the dosages. There is a very sensitive dosimetry for the laser protocols when you are using it for medicinal purposes. So that to understand you need to at least do an associate fellowship from academies. So as a faculty I would suggest you need to at least do one associate fellowship to completely understand the science and doing the treatment. If you are happy doing a cutting then one day workshops will be enough for you. And how much do you think that uh, this, okay, this what is the certification program and all these things will cost? Certification programs changes from speaker to speaker like they might start from 500 rupees for a day or 5000 rupees for a day also but then this associate fellowships will be one month program so where you get for like 10 modules or 5 modules of exclusive lectures on laser dentistry followed by hands on later. So that will be around 50,000 50, for the whole course that will be an associate fellowship program. So doctor, is there laser units available for rent? If so, how much will it cost? A big no to rented out lasers because first thing you don't know what is the maintenance, how they have maintained this particular unit. As I was mentioning, this has to be calibrated every two years. We are not aware whether this was calibrated, whether this unit has fallen down. What is the quality of photons which is coming? You will see some light coming out. Are you getting enough quality of photons for the treatment? For surgery, still okay because you have to just cut. So somehow you, so you might have to use a higher power, you, you'll get some kind of a cutting. But if you are using it for a case which is to be healing, biostimulation, that time the quality of photons and all is very important. So at the end you don't get the result and you blame the science or your knowledge. Might be because I don't have enough knowledge to do it or the science itself is not good. But you don't understand whatever you are using is just plain light. You don't have the good quality photons to do the job there. So please don't, it's like uh, renting out a car, you don't know whether the car has brake properly done or it was oiled properly, will it break down on the way of your travel. So we are in a very noble profession, so we don't want to rent out lesser quality things, we don't want to compromise on the quality of treatment what we are giving out to our patients. We all have iPhones, one, one and a half lakhs, just put 50 more, 50,000 more in your credit card EMI or however you want to do it. Buy 2 lakhs laser, these lasers are available in 2 lakhs these days. So buy a laser on your own which will give you a return of investment also. So why simply renting out lesser quality stuff and then compromising on quality, instead you buy your own laser and start practicing laser dentistry. Doctor, how important is it for a dentist to upgrade your latest gadgets? So not just dentists, as medical professionals we are bound to keep on upgrading throughout our life, be it our operatory, be it our knowledge. So that is our responsibility or uh, commitment to the community of patients which we are treating. So in case of lasers, it is both. It is our knowledge also, it is the operatory also. We have to purchase a laser unit to upgrade our uh, operatory and then we have to train and get knowledge in laser science to upgrade ourselves. So these both are very important as we want to give quality treatment as I was mentioning before to our patients and then we can't compromise on uh, because we are not updated our as laser science we have to purchase a laser unit to upgrade our op operatory and we have to upgrade ourselves in case of knowledge by learning more about this science so it is our commitment to our patients we don't want to compromise on the quality or our patient should not suffer just because we are not upgraded that's it that, that's importance so doctor can you mention some of the latest dental advancement when it comes to the laser technology and how do you think they'll improve the patient outcome? So one of the advancements I would say is this laser photobiomodulation treatments. It's not new, it's been there since decades but it is coming 
very much trending in the industry these days because of the wide number of applications. We didn't had any answer for a lot of um, issues for our patients since lo so long, like a nerve paresthesia. We had an inferior alveolar nerve paresthesia, we will give them neurobind 40. Ask them to wait for 3 months, 6 months until the nerve comes back and your sens sensation comes back. Now we have answers with laser photobiomodulation. It is found that within a month, within 20 to 1 month of 20 days to 1 month of time, patients are getting their sensation back by increasing the nerve regeneration with the help of lasers. TMDs, neuralgias, all this we have answers and protocols with lasers these days. So I would say laser photobiomodulation is a new thing in dentistry and come, uh, regarding the laser unit, the one new thing is combo coherence. Combo coherence means before you could only get one wavelength of photons from a laser tip at a time. So be it 810, be it 660, you will get only one light coming out. Now there is something a new technology called combo coherence. So that also one factor you can keep in mind when you are choosing your laser brand whether your unit has a combo coherence option. So what have mean combo coherence means it will shoot both the wavelengths at the same time. So from the laser output, both 810 photons and 660 will come out together. So in cases of uh, healing purposes where you need uh, better healing, it's a very complicated case. That time you can use it in a combo coherence mode where you will get advantage of both the wavelengths while healing. I have spoken to many of the radiation oncologists. They are not at all aware. Recently passed out, I'm not telling about like people who are not updated. Recently passed out on oral oncology, radiation oncologists who are supposed to understand or know these recent advancements in their field are not aware of this. One is tobacco de addiction. So in this cases where you can use uh, to treat the acupuncture points in your ear, we radiate to, uh, with the laser to stimulate these points. So this will reduce your affinity or affection towards tobacco radiation. It is mandatorily recommended by the oncology journals these days because they ask you to start with a dose of laser photomodul biomodulation help your cells to get more energy and then you start your radiation so the damage which is going to happen will be reduced. A plastic surgeon comes, not a pediatric, not a dentist, a plastic, pediatric plastic surgeon comes to do the, the line angles and point angles. We forgot we are basically meant to heal a lot of